this is amazing. Now we have Lave, an open source large action model framework to build AI web agents. We recently saw about Rabbit and Rabbit OS. So the base is that it uses a large action model, which means it's able to understand user's intention, go through the interface and interact in the interface. Same thing you can see in Lavig, where you are able to understand user's intention. Based on that, you navigate through interface and finally perform action. Here is an example. This is running locally on my computer where I can just mention, give me top 10 data sets and then click enter. You can see it's thinking next steps. It's giving instruction. Click on data sets link on tab on the page. So it's understanding user's intention and performing the action. Here you can see now the data sets tab has been clicked. Now next instruction is that extract names of the top 10 data sets from the content of the page. And based on that, it got me the top 10 data sets. In this, I just provided the URL as you can see here and the objective and it is able to perform as per the request. Similarly, I can provide a CV and a form. So this tool can automatically interact with the CV, understand what's in the CV, extract all the information and then apply for job application. You can perform QA automation with Lavik, which means you are able to provide a list of steps such as adding an item to the cart, the user is on the home page, the user clicks on a product, user is on the product details and it can perform all these tasks. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Lavik. With just few lines of code, you are able to perform any task on a web page with just natural language and it is completely open source. First, when the user asks a question, then the world model is the key model which decides the list of steps to follow and it understands the current status. So based on that, it's giving instruction to the action engine. The action engine will create the required code to perform the action and also it takes images and send that images back to the world model. In our case, we are going to use GPT-4.0. We also have a web version using Gradio, as you can see here. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can install this on your computer, run this locally on your computer, taking you through different use cases. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, pip install Levake and then click enter. This is the main required package. Then after this, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. OpenAI is a large language model provider such as GPT-4. So you can log into openai.com and get the API key. So this tool uses a large language model to power its actions. After entering the OpenAI API key, click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file from Lovig, we are importing world model action engine, web agent, Selenium driver, initializing the Selenium driver, then setting up the world model, then setting up the action engine, then initializing web agent with the world model and action engine. Now agent.get and then providing the URLs to perform action. And finally, I'm mentioning go on the quick tour of PEFT. That's it. So I'm just mentioning go to a page in this docs and the topic is PEFT and go into quick tour. That's it. So with just natural language, you are able to perform an action in a page. So as we saw in the architecture diagram, we are using the world model as the main controller. And then that sends instruction to action engine based on the current status to achieve the goal. Then the action engine generates code and we are using Selenium for this. Then it takes pictures and also sends to the model. So that's exactly happening here. So we got the Selenium driver world model, world model passed to action engine. So the action engine have the Selenium driver in it. So both world model and action engine is passed to the web agent. And then we are triggering with the task. Now I'm going to run this code. Coming back to my terminal, I'm using Mac, so I need to install Chrome driver. So by installing brew install Chrome driver, it is going to install that. But in your case, it might differ for Windows and Linux, but you got detailed information in this page in regards to how you can install Chrome driver on your computer. Also note that the version which I'm currently using on my computer is 126.0.6478. So based on that, I'm installing my Chrome driver. 
So you might need to make sure the Chrome driver matches the browser, Google Chrome browser version you are using. Now coming back to the terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. I want to show you this interaction. So based on this, it automatically opened this page and it navigated to the PEFT page, as you can see here. And now it's going to the quick tour. And also it's taking screenshots and storing it in the current folder. Finally, I got the response here. So if I see here, the process is completed and it performed the action, click on quick tour. So now I'm going to show you one more thing, which is adding one more step here. That is Gradio interface, launching Gradio agent demo and just calling agent.demo and go on the quick tour of PEFT, that's it. So I'm going to comment this out, just the run and coming back to my terminal, Python app.py. This will automatically open this window and also I can open this URL as well. So just copying the URL and just opening it here. Now if I open the Gradio, you can see the user interface like this. So if I open that further, this is a reflection of the page which is opened here. So here I can ask, give me the best models and then click enter. So it's performing action here, as you can see here. Even in the Gradio UI, you can see all the steps taken. Finally, if I see the terminal, I can see the process complete. So my question was, give me the best model. And based on its research, it gave me Meta Llama 3 8 b Instruct with 2.7 million stars. That's the best model. This is really exciting. And this will take the automation process to the next level. So here in the documentation, you can see a few examples. First one is navigation through Notion pages. And based on the question we ask, it is able to extract information. Then data entry. It can read your CV and able to apply for jobs automatically. It will fill automatically, as you can see in the screen. So even in this test, you can see it's a QA automation test. So here we got the list of steps to follow. Add an item to a cart, given the user is on the home page. User clicks the product. User clicks add to cart. User clicks cart icon. So based on this instruction, it is able to perform the task and give a final result whether the web page is working or not. You know how hard it is if you're going to do it manually, which means you need to mention the element in the web page and you need to manually code if you are not using AI agent. So this is going to make the QA automation task faster. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.